I've seen this issue now for 20 years. And I've seen uh, um, the way that, that women are, are treated or stigmatized for these issues. Um, and I think that's what's hit me the hardest is that it's very easy to say, well, you know, of course they don't get to be with their kids. They committed a crime, so that's the price you pay. Didn't they know that? We can, we can do that for days. But if anybody could spend even five minutes with, with any one of these women and really dig into the past um, and find out what brought them to this place, three or 4,000 women have three or 4,000 stories. And um, it, it's, I think that's the thing that helped me to uh, why I never let go of this field. I mean, I'm in the exercise science nutrition field. I work with young children and, you know, physical activity. And, you know, that's just very rewarding and very exciting. But, but this, this is like, I wake up every day and the stories just, they just never go away. They're just, they're constantly there. I think the most rewarding is, is, is seeing these women on the streets or, you know, seeing them on social media or hearing their stories or, or seeing them show up to our Healthy Kids Festival with their children. And I mean, it, it doesn't get any better than that.